guys welcome back to Jay's kitchen so again we are meeting each other uh, for you to see uh, one of my uh, recipes and uh, I'm going to be making a crispy bitter gourd so um, it's my husband's favorite but uh, I don't really enjoy it that much but you know I make it on and off for him and all that and this recipe it's really tasty uh, when you have the bitter gourd fried crispy it goes well with uh, any dish that you are eating uh, especially rice and rasam so um, let's see all the ingredients we need to make this crispy bitter gourd fry so the ingredients are pretty simple so I have my bitter gourd here which I've cleaned and washed and I've got my rice flour here uh, salt to uh, season I've got my besan flour or you can call it chickpea flour and also uh, my chili powder so let me prep the ingredients uh, and then we can start frying it so I've already prepared my bitter good as you see here um, I've cut half of what I had uh, cleaned up just now so we're going to fry this half first um, and let's start frying it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, marinate this with salt so I'm going to uh, add in salt here I'm going to give it a nice mix. I'm going to leave it about uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, just like that before I add in the other uh, seasoning. So after leaving it for about 15 minutes, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in our seasoning. So here I have like some leftover chickpea flour which I'm going to finish it off but at the same time I'm going to add in um, two tablespoons of chickpea flour And then I'm going to add in another two tablespoons of uh, rice flour. Okay, that's one. And another one more. And then uh, about one tablespoon of uh, red chili powder. So I'm going to give it a nice mix, make sure we've got everything coated and then we're going to uh, leave it for another 5-10 uh, minutes. Okay. So I have my pan heating up, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fry uh, the bitter goat. And uh, my flame is on medium, so we're just going to fry it on medium uh, heat. So we're going to fry everything and then we're going to uh, put it on a, in a bowl that has been uh, covered with a kitchen serviette. So we'll have to fry it till it becomes really crispy. So as you can see here, uh, our bitter good is becoming crispy. So we can remove the bitter good and transfer it to another bowl for the oil to uh, come out from the From the bitter good, so we're just uh, taking it off. That's so really nice and crunchy. So just make sure you got everything out. Okay. Then 
then we're gonna continue the process until we got all our bitter good uh, fried. So, yeah. So we're gonna continue right until we get everything fried up. So this is my end result of my crispy bitter good fry. As you can see, it's so crispy. You can actually feel its crispiness. So please drop me a comment and let me know how it turns out and do definitely try it. So thank you so much for joining me today in watching me make a crispy bitter good fry. It's so tasty, so crispy, you must definitely try it. So if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it on your social media and among your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Hummingbird Mama by subscribing, uh, pressing the subscribe button that's below this video and also not forgetting to press the notification bell so you'll always be the first to receive an email notification whenever there's a video uploaded on my YouTube channel Hummingbird Mama. Till I see you in my next cooking video, take care and have a good day. Mm -hmm.